and welcome everybody once again to Casual Warcraft. Sorry it's been so long between videos here. It's been kind of a nutty couple of weeks. Um, anyways, I'm lost as always. And I uh, just wanted to have a quick little talk today about uh, pug etiquette, I guess. Because it's really been on my mind because I've been running a lot of pugs lately. You know, trying to level my priest up again. And uh, man, it's like, I think people have forgotten what it's like to run in a group with random strangers. It's weird. Um, <clears throat> like, for example... Me and my friend, my friend's running as a tank, I'm running as heels. We're in a group the other day and we're doing uh, Stratholm. Not, not calling them, just old school Stratholm. And uh, we're running through this place and we just go in, we duck to the right and start running around the ziggurats. We're going to do the ziggurats, go down, do the spider boss, go up and finish this thing off. Well, we're in this group with this druid, Boomkin Druid. I'm not going to mention his name because, well, you never know, he may be watching. And if he is, hopefully he learned something from this. But, you know, me and my friend are in the same guild, and tank and heals. We're, we're kind of the the part that gets the group in quick. You know, DPS is always on a long queue. Tank and heals are always quick queues, especially when you're running together, insta queuing everything. Well, this guy kept repeatedly asking, not even asking, just saying, "Let's do the spider boss." Every every time we killed something, trash pack, whatever, let's kill the spider boss, and then took off running towards the spider boss. Well, we just kept going on our way because that's the way we do the dungeon that's the way we've always done this dungeon it's just it always works it works well there's no point in killing the spider boss first we just do the loop come back down kill the spider boss go kill the other guy so finally one guy leaves the group because he's sick of this guy trailing off behind pulling trash bags back to us because he just runs away thinking we're going to go follow him to the spider boss and aggro's a bunch of crap and brings it back to us half dead i've got to burn a whole bunch of mana healing him up and then the tank's got to you know work his ass out to get aggro back. So, let's not do this in Pugs, people. If the tank and the healer are going one way and they're from the same guild, maybe you should just follow them. You know, if you want to go to another boss, sure, fine, throw it out. Hey, can we do this boss first? If nobody has a problem with that, then go ahead. Well, everybody go do that boss by all means. Finally, you know, I type in the chat with this guy. I say, you know what? Your tank and your healer are from the same guild. We're obviously running together. Maybe you should try to do things our way or at least ask if we want to go do the spider boss first this guy's only response was and well one guy already left the group we're not going to get the deserters queue if we leave so we go and i just go and this and me and my buddy bail out of the group kind of a dick move we know but you know what if you're going to be a chump and constantly making us work harder to do what we need to do you're kind of already being a dick so be prepared to be treated as a dick back. It's just, it's going to happen. So, you know, I mean, at least have some etiquette towards your tank and your healer. Hey, where's the ring gun everybody loves? Um, hmm, give me one second. Well, you know, it just, it just makes sense, you know. And then we're in this next group. We're in um, Blackrock, Lower Blackrock Spire, I think. I think it was Lower Blackrock. And, uh, this, uh, we had this warrior with us who kept just randomly running off and aggroing everything in sight and running back to us. Why? Why are you, why do you, why do you do this? I understand people don't understand, like, you know, like new players that are first getting into this may not understand the point of following the tank and not trying to kill stuff on your own when you're fighting elites. But by the time you're at level 50, you should kind of have a clue. Especially if you're wearing BOAs. You know, just have a clue. <laughs> so, you know, we, we kicked this guy from group because he's obviously an idiot. And he caused like three wipes before we even got to the second boss. You know, we run in, we kill the first, we just run in down to the right, kill the first boss down there at the end of the prison, and then we're usually done. The rest of the group wanted to do the whole dungeon, so we we're going to do it. Until this guy, like we're in, we run in, we take out the first mobs there and the the dogs and stuff in the very entrance, and then we go across and we don't go down the first little entrance way there. We aggro the group at the front of that, and then we go down the middle. We take out the four rooms, get on, hit the boss, boss at the end. Well, we take all that, out, all that goes good right up until we go into that little center entrance way there, and we take the room on the right. He takes the room on the left. Really. So I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, just because you're in a pug and you're not going to ever see these people again, doesn't mean you have to be a complete asshat, I guess. Yeah, and just, 
Really? Are, are, are people really this bad? Is this is this the state of the world of Warcraft right now? That the community is so bad that we want to just go off and do our own thing when we're in a pug, when we're obviously going to die. You know, now me as a healer, when I'm healing you, if you're running off and doing this stuff, guess what? You're going to die. I'm not going to heal an idiot. I will heal the tank when he's trying to save you. And if you miraculously live through the fight, I will heal you at the end of it. But otherwise, I'm not healing. <laughs> That's just the way it is. So, you know, and especially like in the case of the Boomkin, he was bottom of the DPS charts. Complete bottom of the DPS charts. He was pulling, I think, 86 DPS at one point. Pretty pathetic, you know. So, I mean, if you're good, then maybe we'll be more inclined to listen to what you want to do. But if you're if you're not, if you're doing 86 DPS at level 50, even as a Boomkin, we're not gonna listen to you. Boomkins are pretty badass. We ran with a couple that were pulling three, four, five hundred DPS. You know, and it just you know, if you're bottom of the DPS charts and you're just constantly running off and doing your own thing, don't expect us to be helpful. Don't expect the tank or the healer to really listen to you. You know, some tanks will just jump in and try to bail you out, and some healers will too. But I am not one of them. I won't heal you if you're just doing your own thing. <laughs> so, I mean, pug etiquette, you know, just try to help each other out. You're there as a group. If you want to get more done, then work as a group to get more done. Don't, you know, go off and do your own thing and expect everybody to bail you out when you get in trouble because it's not always going to happen. You know, loot ninjas, I'm not even going to talk about. We ran into a couple of those yesterday, too, which you always do, but I'm not going to talk about them because everybody knows them, everybody hates them, and we all just don't want to deal with them. So, that's about it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I mean, I just wanted to throw it out there. You know, if you guys have any thoughts or opinions, anything on uh, pug etiquette, I guess, as I called it, then, uh, you know, feel free to leave a comment below, you know. Um, and as always, you know, comment, subscribe, like, thumbs up. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, criticism, gripes, anything you got to do, uh, email me, casualwarcraft at gmail.com. Like us over on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash lustswarcraft. Go ahead and follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash casualwarcraft. And, um, yep, I think I'm out for the day. That's it. See ya.